Hey guys, so welcome to your um, uh, general reading. This is going to be for Libra for your uh, November 2023. You could apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So we're going to take a look and see uh, how your spiritual journey is going. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So Libra, tell me about Libra here. Tell me about Libra. What's going on with Libra? How's Libra's spiritual journey going? How is Libra's spiritual journey going for um, November 2023 for Libra, for Libra, for Libra? Okay, so with the Page of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here, Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Libra, I almost get the feeling that someone here is just not really focused, not really grounded here. I feel like the goal for you, Libra, is to have abundance and fulfillment to reach, uh, you know, your financial goals, your career goals here. But I feel like someone's energy is all over the place. Some of you is unfocused, ungrounded here. It's really important for someone to get grounded, you know? Uh, you know, grounding techniques, you know, in includes meditation, includes salt baths, includes, you know, walking in nature, walking barefoot, tree hugging and stuff like that, using crystals, okay? Uh, you know, I do feel like someone here is definitely like in this energy where they're all over the place here, all right? We have the Three of Pentacles here in Judgment, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I you know, I feel like a lot of the a lot of messages are also being bypassed here, you know, messages that you're getting from your guides and your angels and your ancestors getting from the universe here, you know. Yeah, I just feel like someone here just ha has a really hard time focusing. Yeah, I feel like someone here is definitely looking for prosperity. I do feel like someone here might be looking uh, in this energy of getting uh, is kind of caught in a rock and a hard place, kind of caught in a fork in the road right now because, you know, Libra, you could be in this energy of like needing to make some sort of decision here that will lead you towards your goals, to your prosperity here. I mean, this could be re regarding work or something like that. I mean, some of you guys could be looking to switch careers or, or do something completely different. Maybe start your own business here. Okay. But like I said, I do feel like there's a, an energy where someone here is just really unfocused at this time here. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and... The hangman, Piscean energy. I feel like someone here definitely needs to take action here. Someone here is hoping that over time, if I just wait around and do nothing, you know, it's going to change. But I feel like in this situation here, you know, Libra, someone here has to take action, you know, uh, because, yeah, you're going to just gonna wait, be waiting around forever here. I mean, you know, keep in mind, Libra, I mean, th this message could be someone for someone that you know that's dealing with this or that's going through this too. Uh, so we have the Three of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Judgment in the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini here. I do feel like in a way, I feel like I'm kind of searching for the next thrill in your life here. I do feel like you guys are definitely looking to make a switch here, but like I said, I feel like some of you is definitely not focused. Yeah, I do feel like someone here is getting a lot of messages from their guides and their angels and their ancestors trying to get uh, your attention here, but someone here is definitely not paying any attention. Yeah, signs are dropping right in front of somebody here, but like someone here is not seeing it, you know? So the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What else do we have here for uh, Libra? What else do we have for, for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on for... Um, November 2023 for Libra, for Libra. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands here. 
I do feel like whatever is happening here, everything is opening up to you right now. Like things are happening in divine timing here. We have four, three out of the four nights here. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, Libra, I do feel like you want to do something that you're more passionate about, something that you enjoy more here. This is regarding your work. Yeah, this is regarding your work here. I feel like you're trying to gain some sort of perspective here, trying to find your um, life's purpose here. And, and, you know, I feel like at this time, you don't really quite know what that is. You know, some of you guys are definitely working in a 9 to 5 situation and you guys are not enjoying it. If you guys jump into another job here, let's say, it's just going to be the same thing. You know, I feel like temporarily you might experience that bliss, experience that thrill, but it's only going to be temporary because I feel like you're definitely looking for something more. You know, I feel like this is you guys trying to step out of the matrix here, trying to step out of the monotony, the 9 to 5. You know, so I feel like some of you guys could be going through or some of you guys are about to go through a huge spiritual awakening. Um, let's see, tell me the Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. We have all four Knights that are out. Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I do feel like some of you is just really not focused. Yeah, I do feel like with the Four of Swords here, the Hangman, you know, meditation is very important for someone to get grounded. You know, meditation is a great way to kind of like tap into yourself here, you know, kind of like drop in and search the answers that you're looking for because a lot of the times the answers that we seek is within us. And a lot of the times, a lot of the things that we're meant to do in life, it's actually embedded into our DNA, you know, because when we get sent, sent to Earth, in this incarnation a lot of stuff some of the stuff that yeah so i would say some of the stuff that happens it, it's just kind of like written in the stars it's meant it's meant to happen all right we have the four of pentacles and the knight of cups here cancer scorpio pisces um let's see the wheel of fortune in the world four swords and the three of wands i feel like some of you guys should go on vacation here I do feel like once you, if you go on vacation, take some time for yourself, go on vacation, go somewhere warm maybe. I do feel like you might get that inspiration, that aha moment, that realization of like, okay, now I know what to do. Because I feel like you, yeah, I feel like if for some of you guys, I, I just feel like you just don't. Yeah, you guys don't. We have the Three of Wands here in the world. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. The Nine of Cups and the King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Could be a situation that someone here could be coming back around. Someone here has some sort of regrets here with you. Yeah, it could be a romantic partner that's trying to come back around. Perhaps this romantic partner is someone here that's very flighty, very in and out, very ungrounded here, doesn't really know what they're looking for, doesn't really know what they want. And perhaps, you know, maybe they're experiencing this this uh, big, big career shift or something like that. But someone here might be looking to come back to reconcile here with you because they regret doing something here to you. They regret, you know, maybe dropping you like a hot potato, letting you down, making you wait, you know, leading you on, okay, stringing you along, okay? So, but there's a lot going on here, uh, uh, Libra. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.